Hey, good afternoon to everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It's not so bright and early. It's noon here in Connecticut on the East Coast. If you watch my channel, you know I usually come on at 3.30 a.m. and that's why I said that. Uh, so it's noon here. I was just taking my lunch break. I was in the middle of doing some artwork, creating something. I was commissioned to do a, a special painting and I was in the middle of some serious work here. I took a little lunch break and I decided to check some of the news feeds to see if there's anything. I, I, I've i been checking the news, news feeds more often to see if there's any stories popping up that I should talk about. I want to be more on time and bringing you guys stories that are happening right away. And I came across this story from yesterday, okay? Ben and Jerry's, the ice cream company up here in Vermont, uh, or above here, above Connecticut, Vermont. Uh, they, they put out a very special tweet uh, meme on the 4th of July, and I, I, I tend to agree with it. Uh, it talks about indigenous land, and I'm going to read it to you. Uh, people on the right, Fox News, uh, the comments, I'll read you the, some comments too, uh, just have absolutely lost their minds with this. this. But I, I'll, I'll talk more about it after, but I'm going to read you what Ben and Jerry's and the link will be down below, too, so you can see it for yourself. But I'll read you what Ben and Jerry said on Twitter at 6 a.m. on the 4th of July. God bless them, because it's the truth. All right, here's, here's what Ben and Jerry said. This 4th of July, it's high time we recognize that the U.S. exists on stolen indigenous land and commit to returning it. And it says, learn more and take action now. And then there's the actual meme, which you'll, you'll probably see on my thumbnail. And it says, the United States was founded on stolen indigenous land. This 4th of July, let's commit to returning it. And then, and then there's some more text that went along with this in, in the tweet. It, this is talking about Mount, Mount Rushmore. It says, uh, what, what is the meaning of Independence Day for those whose land this country stole? Those who were murdered and forced with brutal violence onto reservation. Those who were pushed from their holy places and denied their freedom. All right. Here we go. The, the faces on Mount Rushmore are the faces of men who actively work to destroy indigenous cultures and ways of life. To deny indigenous people their basic rights. We need to make... Oh, no. Wait, that's, that's where it stops. That's, that's where it stops right there. Okay. Uh, I almost started reading the comments. That's why I continued there. But I'll, I'll, uh, let me take a break here for a second. Ask yourself this. Is that the truth? Is it the truth? Yeah. Yeah. If, if you've read, you read anything about the Trail of Tears, um, this land was occupied. There was, you know... <laughs> you know uh, yeah, that is that is the complete truth, and it, it's not even half the truth. It's not even half the story. It's the complete truth, and I think it was very. I I think it was morally right on the four, on the Fourth of July. I'm celebrating our, our independence, uh, the America's independence from uh, England. You know, to to maybe you know to take some time and note that. Our independence was at the cost of, you know, the, the millions of, of American Indians, the, the genocide of millions of American Indians. And I, I thought about that, too. So you're talking about returning land. But here's the thing. Millions of, of Native Americans uh, don't even exist anymore because they were wiped out. Um, it's a little, honestly, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it would be good to, to give them more sovereignty over more land. But the thing is that so many Native Americans were wiped out. It's really hard to give back land to the millions of Ameri Native Americans that were, 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 were killed. All right, here's some comments. We need to make Ben and Jerry's go out of business. Please join me. See, this is the right now. Uh, why don't they just shut up? and serve ice cream rather than pretend they're morally superior. Like I said, is that the truth? Is it the, you know, what, what Ben Drew said, is it the truth? Definitely. Definitely historically accurate. And it doesn't even tell half the story. So how does that make Ben and Jerry trying to be, you know, be more, the, maybe the fact that they're, they, they're, they want to do the right thing and, and give back the, the land that was stolen. You know, at this point, I really, I, I'm half Native American. I am French Canadian and... Mick, uh, Native American Micmac tribe from Maine, uh, more specifically the Acadian people of Maine. 
I've learned this from my family, and I had to ask the questions. Uh, my mother, my grandmother, never talked about being Native American. They they talked French. My my whole family spoke French before they they they, had, they learned English as a second language. Uh, they're from Caribou, Maine, uh, um, Presque Isle, uh, Van Buren, Maine. Uh, up there, there's uh, the, you know McDonald's. They talk the McDonald's menus are in French. The bank people talk in French. Um, and they didn't, they didn't, they were, I hate to say this, but they were embarrassed uh, to be, being Native American back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, my grandmother, my great-grandmother, my mother, it was not like it is today. Uh, Native Americans were looked at as second-class people, as savages still. And I thought about this, how I, I, I wonder, I'm not sure, I don't want to compare myself to black people, but... Recently, with rap becoming so popular amongst all cultures, and the way some people look at black people, like they all must have rhythm, or all must be good at rap or sports, I kind of, I think I might kind of understand, because I used to get, when I talked about being Native American in high school and after high school, like when my friends were going to college, I got these jokes about being able to talk to animals or, you know, um, peace pipes being called chief. Um, I, I think and with, the, with the, the, the casinos opening up here in Foxwoods back in the 90s, I got asked repeatedly, you must be rich, you know, do you have a piece of the casino? Because I live in Connecticut, you know, Foxwoods was the biggest casino in the world when it first opened. You know, and I lived about 50 miles away from here in Connecticut. And no, no, I'm not part of the Micmac tribe or the Pequot, uh, Mashantucket Pequots. No, I have nothing to do with them. Uh, my people are from, Mick, from Maine. But the way people now look at Native Americans, like <laughs> they're magic, you know, like uh, I, I wonder, it's... It seems like sometimes Native Americans are being uh, not stereotyped, uh, not plagiarized. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't remember the word I'm looking for. When, when you over... Anyway. Uh, and then some of these comments uh, with the right-wing people, the right, right wing. It, it, it's gotten to the point now where anybody who disagrees with them must be put out of business. They, they, got, this, they got this hard on. When, when, they, when they managed to, to, to give Bud Light a hit. And now anybody and anybody who, who brings their, gets their ire is going to be taken out of business. You know, so that's, is, that, is that freedom? You know, not, if they don't agree with them, they need, they need to go out of business. Um, like I was saying, back in the uh, 40s and 50s with my mother and my grandmother, it was, they, they hid the fact that they were Native American. And uh, my mom told me how she got picked on. And uh, I remember seeing a picture in my grandmother's house. Uh, it was a round frame, a black and white picture, like an old-fashioned picture. And this is the first time I asked about this. And there was about eight of my relatives, all women. And they looked different. They, they looked weird to me. I was probably like six or seven, eight years old. And I asked my grandmother, who are these people? Because they, they had like big cheekbones. And uh, they, like I said, they looked different to me and I asked you know who these people were and that's that's your great grandmother that's your great great aunt you know and I asked why do they look like that and that's when my grandmother started telling me later she gave me a book uh she gave me several books I remember this book Algonquin and several other books uh the thing is my grandmother's gone now and she knew and my great grandmother's gone and they knew a lot more about my heritage. My mom, unfortunately, I think, was embarrassed about, you know, she just wanted to fit in, I think, when they, when my family moved from Maine to East Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, she, she got picked on every day for being different. And I think she didn't want to acknowledge that she was Native American. So I think I kind of lost some of my heritage there. I've been dying to take the 21, uh, what's it called, the 23 and Me, uh, the gene test. But anyway... I hate watching these, you know, these Westerns too, where 
Native Americans are looked at as savages, like the old Westerns, where, you know, the, the good pioneers and are, you know, the American flag, and they're defending their cabins out on the plains from these terrible savages, you know, and they're, because the, the, the terrible savages scalp people and all that. You know, but if you look at this, what would you do if, you know, look at what, look at what those settlers did to the Native Americans. Of course they did, you know, of course they reacted. Um, it's just so insane that now this country just, just pretends that never happened. It just, you know, just like the whole Columbus thing, you know, Columbus didn't even discover this country, it, you know, with Eric the Red and all that and the people that were already here. It's all just false information. It's, it's a fake story covering up the real atrocities, the truth of, of the brutality of what came, what happened here. Um, and I think it's great that Ben and Jerry's is speaking the truth. As far, as far as returning the land, that's a great idea. Do I think it'll ever happen? No, I, I honestly don't. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think Native Americans should be helped, especially with substance abuse and alcoholism because it's raging in Native American communities. That's that. Is a, is a good way to start helping Native American communities. And Native American women are disappearing at a crazy rate. And nobody's saying anything. I'll, I'll try to find some links and put that down below. Native American uh, women have been disappearing for decades. Uh, thousands of them. And, you know, it's a big mystery. And nobody seems to, to notice. But let one little blonde girl go missing from uh, somewhere in Connecticut and the whole country knows about Amber Alert. Anyway, just some thoughts. God bless you and Ben and Jerry's. And to all you right-wing people, man, people, you know, you don't have the right to put people out of business just because they say something you don't think is patriotic. A big lie, a big falsehood, a big, uh, a big blow to crap. Have a good Wednesday.